a quick walk around. I just want to double check the straps down the road here quick, but here's what we got. Oh, we're in the ground back here. Look at that old girl, she's hard at work again. Check out the traction bars. I'll get that video up. Or maybe it's already been up, I don't know. Do a quick walk around, I just wanna double check the straps down the road here quick, but here's what we got. Now don't get mad if you see the same little clip in both of the videos, because I bought two tractors, two. So that means two videos. But I might use the same short clip, I'm sorry. But uh, not too bad, this one's locked up clutch tranny something I don't know make sure you flip your straps and say everything will be good Look at that old thing this one's gas cars apart really cool old people real real nice old people we uh we got sort of convinced to fix a Jeep while we were there didn't plan on it I don't usually do customer work but they uh been sitting for six months with the brakes all apart in the back so we probably should have recorded it, but we didn't. So we helped them out, did some quick drum breaks, but they gave us a hundred dollars. So that was awfully cool of them. And it only took us 30 minutes. So you gotta respect people. You help people, they help you. Uh, peace out guys, we'll catch you later. Hey YouTube world, welcome back to another great episode of Square Max Customs. Uh, we got a great one for you this week. We picked up a tractor, uh, not this one. That one's another week. You gotta come back to see that on a future episode. This one. She's a little four-cylinder gas engine. Uh, I don't know, she was parked many moons ago. The guy uh, took the carburetor apart to rebuild it and uh, well, that's that's as far as he got. He took it apart and then it just sat. So uh, we're gonna see if we can roll her off the trailer and uh, get her in the shop, see what she all needs. We'll do a walk around then. I think it's got brakes. don't scare me so the front one's just barely come up here and show them how close the tires are on the tracks oh we're in the ground back here Easy. At least just put the starters bad on this. We can pop start it, fellers and fellettes, and whoever else is watching. Heck yeah. All right, I gotta go in the AC, get cooled off. Well, she's a cool old tractor. Inspector Loki likes it. He thinks there's a mouse in it or something. Check this out. The exhaust goes down and out the back like a hot rod. Oh, that's pretty nifty. I like that. Way better than the stack. Although the other tractor will work on it whenever has a tink tink. 
Those things are sweet. I want to tink tink for my John Deere. Can you believe that the tires, they all held there? The old man blew them up before we got there. I'd put a bag up the carburetor. He's got it all apart, I guess. I don't know. We haven't looked at the parts yet. Check this out. This is the coolest thing. Look at the lady. She's got to go back up here. That's going to be so cool. Anybody tell me what this lady is? Who it is? It's not for you, Loki bum. I don't know. I think this is a giant Japanese tractor or something. Seta, Seto, Seta, I don't know. Something like that. But uh, there's your walk around. Check out the seat. That's pretty sweet. And we can tow the trailer around. That's pretty nifty too. An umbrella stand. You have to get us an umbrella. It's a mountain lion. Oh, hey, before I forget, I want to thank all of you guys. We hit a thousand subscribers. Like, boof, mind blown. It's only been six months. I, I just want to thank everybody. I really appreciate you all hitting subscribe, watching the videos. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I don't know what else is to come. Probably more will it runs and we'll build something else eventually. Uh, but yeah, I just I wanted to get that out there before I forget. I, I don't want to forget. You guys are the reason that we made it to a thousand. Thank you all. Much, much appreciation from me to you guys. Let's dig in already. This thing's not going to fix itself if we don't, if we don't check it out. So uh, the guy gave me the pieces. He built his own rebuild kit i don't know if it'll work we'll look at it in a few minutes i think he used a piece of leather uh i don't know it's pretty nifty the only thing is i don't have all the bolts i don't think but uh let's check it out me little magnet Got some coolant in it. Oh, it's actually got green Kool Aid. That's pretty cool. I think he said it was only sitting for like two years or something. He said it was running, but it wasn't squirting fuel into the old carburetor to make it do its thing. So he took the carburetor apart and said he couldn't find a rebuild kit online for it or something. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll get online and see if we can find one for it. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can make what he built work just, just to see. I mean, what's gonna take 20 minutes to throw it together? Maybe longer. It really sucks when you buy a project that's taken all apart and missing a few things and you don't know where all the rods and doodads and stuff go. But if I can't figure it out, I'll go on Google and look for some pictures. The fuel actually don't smell too bad. It don't smell, you know, too good, but it don't smell too bad. Come on, check it out. You guys are so far away, you probably can't even see. So, uh, here's the... Here's... Oh my God, the mouse nest up in there a little bit. Yeah, what is that? Ooh. Okay, well, we'll clean that out in a minute. Yeah, maybe some mouse droppings. Look at that little cute little engine. I don't know a thing about this. Like, I tried to look it up a little bit, and I think it said something like it's like a Mazda engine or like old Ford Rangers almost. But uh, don't don't believe what I said because I couldn't really find a good. I like how the oil cap actually says oil on it. That's so cool. That way, you know, you know that's not where the coolant goes, fellers and fellettes. Oh, she turns over. I haven't checked nothing on this. Ugh. She's nifty though. She's really nifty. Discover Lake Erie. Do you think this, do you think this came? Huh, that's pretty cool. It's a battery. Battery box. Is it a toolbox? Oh, look at that, that's freaking cool. That's a corn. 
corn cob. That's definitely had some critters living in it of something. What is that, guys? It feels like aluminum almost. It's not, but it's not. I don't know. Well, I don't know if that's any good anymore. I mean, we could try it, maybe. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that storage box. That was nifty. Looks like it might leak. Seems like all these older ones that sit for a while leak. How hard do you think that seal is to replace? Well, let's see how bad it leaks. Because if it's like drip, 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 then we won't, we're not going to worry about it. But if it's like pff, pissing out of there, well, I guess we'll, we'll figure it out when that time comes. You believe the tires and everything took air and they're still holding air. I bought this yesterday and he blew the tires up the day before. So two, two, three days to, but still, I mean, the old dang tires, they all took air and blew up. That probably goes up to here. Okay. Look at that one, it looks brand new, don't it? A little low, but it looks brand new. That's cool. Did I show you the carburetor? If not, I'll show you again. Showed you the lady, didn't I? That thing is just a tractor with a big old hood over in it. That's cool. Is it factory? Does anybody know? If anybody knows anything about it, let me know. I'm really curious about what lady or who lady or is this even go to the tractor? So here's what we got. I got some toothpicks. Um I'll probably go we'll figure that out. And a little piece of leather. So he's making a new accelerator pump here. But it's got a I don't I don't know if that's gonna work. But I am really curious. And uh I, I don't know, the old man really really uh seemed happy about his fix. He just never got around to putting it back together. So I don't know if he's watching. But if he is, I'm sure he'd like to see if it at least worked. So maybe we'll just try to find some missing bolts and nuts and bolt this back down. What do we got? Two, four, five. A couple pins and just to see. I don't know. If you guys ain't curious, you can skip ahead of that part. All right, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to stop talking. I've been talking freaking six minutes. Let's see if we even get all that in the video. Clean the carburetor a little bit, best we could, without taking it fully off and getting a kit that goes to it. I'll finish pulling the spark plugs out, which uh, I, I, I don't think the thing's ever been ran on them. Can you guys see that? I don't even think it's been started. Like maybe he bought new spark plugs and couldn't buy a carb kit and got stuck. I don't, I don't really know. But they don't even got no soot on them. They don't even look, I don't even think it was turned over with them. But because we don't know how long it's been sitting, we'll just spray a little stuff down in the cylinders to help lube everything up and free any rings if they are stuck. I don't think they are. But who knows till we get going. What's up, baby girl? Is, is the tire What? Oh, yeah. That's patina. Yeah. That's the way the rim's designed. Yeah, it's a square. What's that, sweetie? It's a square. Uh-huh. It's a mag rim for a tractor. Make it look fancy. Ooh, we got compression on that one. Enough to blow my finger off, just turn it over by hand. Ah. Uh, a little bit on that one. Um, she's 
she's good. All right, I'm going to finish cleaning that and do some other stuff and probably pop the cap off and, you know, look at the inside. Maybe clean it real quick just so we don't have to maybe not worry about that when we go to try to start it. And uh, a couple of these other connections that are filled with mud and dust and dirt and stuff. Loki Bum has found herself in a new seat. Buddy, I don't think that's a seat. He's helping Daddy. <laughs> well, I gotta find a couple missing uh, screws to hold the top of the carburetor on. And then we'll try to slide this all back together. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I gotta put oil in it. Don't <laughs> let me forget to put oil in it. It only like maybe a half a quart low, but might as well just put it in, you know? And uh, maybe we'll change this fuel filter because this thing's pretty, pretty gnarly looking. But uh, maybe we won't. I, I, don't, I don't really know. Let's see if it fires off and then we'll put new parts on it. Or if it tries to fire off. Well, I guess if it don't fire off, we'll have to put new parts on it too. Well, hey there. I'll put some chainsaw gas in the carburetor before I uh, put it all back together. That way at least the bowl's filled with fuel. And uh, it'll be two-stroke mix, so it'll help lubricate some stuff if it is... I don't know. It'll do something. You spill it all over. I hate these cans. I'm not fancy enough to buy new cans. I got these old beat up ones. I should, that's probably too much. That'd be fine. I'm not a big gasoline or, I don't like the fluids, they stink. Maybe we gotta hook any of these up before or can we just set this in here? This homemade leather contraption here. I forgot about that. I don't know about this thing, guys. I think it might be. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I had way too much fuel in there. Got to leave room for the freaking flow. You think this is gonna work? Uh, still with me? Oh, she's she's gonna be nice and full. All over the place. All right. I don't know about that. Let's just put. Look, I found screws. They're gonna be different sizes and stuff, but I found a whole bunch of them. See if these short ones will reach. If they won't, we got longer ones. Oh yeah. Well, I think these are perfect, maybe. So we tighten them down and they only cough a little bit. All right, well, let's just put the short ones where we don't have enough short ones. We'll put them where they might hit stuff. Let's stick this one back out. Put it over here. Stay with me, I'm trying. I'm gonna use one long one on this side. All right, let's just, let's just tighten this down and then we'll see if the accelerator pump's accelerating. You think it's gonna get excited and do its thing? Or is she gonna be lazy and we're gonna have to, you think O'Reilly's can get us one? Well, O'Reilly is the only parts store we got in town. What about Tractor Supply? They built one of them here. Do you think they should have? You probably go there and they don't even have a tractor rebuild kit. I better I'll have to check Tractor Supply and O'Reilly's. Gas four-cylinder fellers and fellettes and 
whoever else is watching. We mean, uh, shop's gonna stink. Think this is gonna work? I don't know, I got my doubts. But you don't, I don't know, you shouldn't doubt old people. They got some tricks up their sleeves. Really, really nice old people. I mean, I don't know how old they were, but we pull in and the old ladies on the roof freaking leaf blowing. It was insane. Like, I hope I can move around like that when I get older. We uh, fixed some drum brakes on their Jeep for them. So that was, that was pretty cool. And they hooked us, oh, I think it was their handyman's or I don't remember, it was somebody they knew. But it was a part at their house for like six months or so. So we got the drum brakes all back together on the back. So hopefully they'll be able to drive that. And they hooked us up. Okay, let's, you think that's gonna come back up? I feel like it's gonna go down and not come back up. I don't feel like that thing's gonna be, I don't know. Let's, well maybe. Can you guys see? I don't know. I felt like it was too tight. Watch. Let's see what it does. Oh, oh, she's actually, she came back up. You guys see that? I'm sorry. Okay. Let's, can you see in there? No, you can't see in there. Well, let's see if we can listen. Oh, that, it's definitely doing, we need a flashlight. Where's our flashlight? Hold on. Oh, Shepard. She's getting old, poor girl. Chevy Love. What's wrong, honey? She said nothing wrong. Oh, I already see. Oh wait, maybe we see fuel down there because, oh, this thing's gonna fucking shoot. Sorry, this thing might shoot. I didn't mean to say that, I'm sorry. Uh, that bowl's filled with fuel. Come on, let's see if we can, we just wanna see if it's squirting. It might be filled with fuel because I put way too much fuel in it. Uh, hold on, you guys. I don't think it's doing its thing, but who knows? Let's get it back together. Maybe she'll at least start up an idle and we can put her out of the garage while I try to find some parts on maybe old Evil Bay if O'Reilly's can't help me. I don't know. How does this work? What goes? Oh, I don't even have that. That's going to be like a banjo. Dang. I wonder if I should give the old man a call and see if he has another bucket of parts that we're missing. Dang it. That'd be, yeah, that'll be like a banjo bolt, like an injector bolt. Maybe we got one that, I don't have one that. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. a banjo bolt to use the fuel line it gave me so I just heated up the end of a hose and jammed something bigger in there to flare it out and uh we're just gonna put a hose and a hose clamp on there the old way maybe I can't get this back off oh stay with me hopefully it keeps it. yeah see can you see that it kept the end fat it's a little torch well that's what we're gonna try so like I said, I don't, I don't have the right stuff. But I, and it works, look, maybe. As long as it don't leak now when we start. It's got, it's not, it don't have to be perfect or original. What year do you guys think this thing is? Any of you guys got one of these? S550G. We'll try to put that down there if I remember. Put our clamps on before we forget.
by a couple little uh, pins to pin some of the stuff that's missing and uh, I'm going to check the gear oil real quick and then oh yeah maybe we'll change this it's awfully nasty in the bottom of there maybe not I don't know it's dirty but that's what a filter's for ain't it to clean out the dirt and stuff so if it was clean then it probably wasn't working you think the fuel pump's gonna work yeah she'll work oh why you guys gotta worry about that stay with me stay with me Should we change that? Let me see if I got one. I think we got one laying around somewhere. We'll change that. Maybe. Probably not. I'm probably going to forget. But we'll see. You see? Pretty freaking. I mean, I guess it's not bad. Look, we're just turning it upside down, and then all the rest is at the top, and the bottom's clean. There we go. That's redneck trick for you for the day. Just turn your fuel filter upside down. Look, it's all loose in there like it wants. Let me see if we got one. Stay with me. Just hold on. Don't go nowhere. There you go. You should all be happy. Look what I found. Can't see in it though, so we're not going to be able to see if it's dirty or clean. It don't matter. It's an old tractor. They don't need clean fuel to run. These things don't care. I should probably get a bucket. No, we'll be fine. Go fast. That's all. Just go really fast. Maybe not. Well, if it ain't going nowhere anyways. Not what I was worried about. Shouldn't it just come out? Maybe it needs fuel. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go to the store. I don't have no fuel. I already stole it out of the go-kart. I took it out of the four-wheeler. The lawnmower don't got no more fuel. Everything's out of fuel. Oh, it's empty. That's perfect. That's good. That means we don't have a bunch of old crap in there. All right. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta steal fuel from something. All these new cars got a stopper in them, so I can't put the hose in the wife's soul. Oh, we can get it out of her C10. We're in luck, fellas. All right. I gotta go be sneaky about this. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm telling mom. Get this in there before she get out here and catch us. We gotta hide the evidence. Boy, that was close. The little one caught us. She gonna tell mom on us. She ain't gonna believe me. Who's she gonna believe me or the seven year old? Come on. You better hurry up. If there's all gas out of the can, there's no gas. There's no evidence that I stole gas. Woo wee. Good dude. Oh, hey there. You know how it is, you're not paying attention. And, and I mean, I didn't take it apart, that's... Okay, I won't make excuses. I didn't take it apart, but I also forgot to put the choke on. So we're gonna take it back off, a couple bolts and throw the choke cable on. I still don't know if this will work. I looked on the internet and I found a carb kit, which it was uh, pretty cheap. I could get it for under 20 bucks shipped to my door. But it told me I could take anywhere from four to eight weeks to send a little carb kit. What, like what? Four to eight weeks? So that's, I don't, that just didn't sound right to me. Sound a little freaking crazy four to eight weeks. So, and then I tried to cross reference the part at the parts store, but that was, we might need the longer screws here now that we got this plate on here. That was no available either. So, 
we're uh, S out of luck. Um, checked all the fluid, the gear oil is all good. It actually looks really clean also. So pretty much all the fluids that we've checked so far in this thing look pretty freaking clean. Uh, we got fuel in it now, hee <laughs> hee. Um, I gotta throw a battery in it and mm, see if anything starts smoking. If everything starts clicking, whoa, better check the dizzy real quick. You think it looks like in here? You think it's pre pretty good? So a little corrosion. So I'll probably, I'll probably just get a little piece of sandpaper and uh, if you guys watch more ski repair, well, that dude's an animal, man. He, he they work, he works, he works. But uh, he taught me something cool called the Morski Flick. He just flicked them points, flick them. That's it, put the cap back on, you're good to go. You got spark, don't think twice about it, otherwise you might have did it wrong. So, you hear that? Hear that? I think you three, we'll do four for good luck. There's three, four. Morski, if you ever watch my channel, man, love ya. Uh, I'm gonna get a battery in it. And See if it sparks. Hood ornament. Got to get the hood ornament on. If we don't put that on, she probably won't start. That's like a good luck charm in my opinion. We all know this is the good luck charm. It's probably why she started to go bad is the old hood ornament was off of her, you know? Need some hair on this hole. That's hard to find. All right, well, I think I feel like I got a spider in my hair or something. Creepy. You know, just hold in out there. We gotta put this on. Then we'll put a battery in it. Does that sound good? I think we we should start making a checklist. Because I don't have a very good memory. Would you look at that? Oh wow. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, I'll get you in on it. I know you guys want to see it just as bad as I did. Woohoo! Hold up. Look at that. Ready? Ready? That looks sweet. Check her out. If that don't make you smile, I mean, come on. I miss the old cars with the cool hood ornaments. Not the Dodge Rams, you know, like that was that was pretty cool. But I mean like the old old cars that had like the ladies on them. You know, vehicles in my opinion, they're all female, so they need the ladies. The ladies help represent. That's cool. All right. I'm going to get a battery in and see if it smokes and uh we, we're going to bump that key. Oh yeah, we got a key for this and the other one. And I didn't lose them, so that was pretty cool. Did you guys notice this is actually a koozie? Huh? Check that out. That's pretty neat. Ohio. Do you think the tractor uh, spent part of its life in Ohio? And then maybe came up here to Jacksonville? I don't know what this is, but I think it says CO on it. Like, Connecticut? I'm not sure. 1954 to 1976, our new home. West Main Street something, I don't know. It's folded over. It's pretty cool. So, quit smoking cigarettes about two years ago after smoking for 20 years. And uh, boy, two years without them, I feel much better, but I still run out of wind when I gotta go real far. Let's get this back up, I'm on the battery. Sorry. We done? Are you? Okay. Calm down. I'm trying to bring you back to life. Here you are fighting and making noise on the people. All right, you look for smoke and I'll hook up. Oh, we got two red. Oh, everything's red. Hey, I got a question for you. There's like seven colors on this tractor. What color do you think it was when it started? Like we got some like blue. If you take the oil cap off, it's like a blue under here, almost a teal blue. And we got like a, 
I don't know what that is. There's another blue down here, and it's red and like orange underneath it. I'm just curious. Oh, a battery. That's not cool. The terminals are backwards. Ooh, I better get a piece of cardboard or something. Hold the battery from. Ready? Gotta get something put in. You just stare at that, I'll be right back. Perfect. And we saw no sparks. You think it'll bump like a like just bump? Let's see if she just bumps. Let's turn this. Would that be down? Would that be up? That would be down. Think. Let's try that. Where's the kill switch? You think this has got the old pulley kill switch thing? Is this the clutch? All right, let's just hit buttons. To oh, I got lights. Whoop! Ah, ah! I freaking forgot to hook. The freaking choke up again. I hooked the bracket up and forgot to hook. The Dang it! Hey, she turns over. That's really cool. Oh, the guy that I got him off of marked a guess. I, I was trying to guess earlier. I had to go check what key went to which one, but I wonder if he wrote diesel on the other key. That's cool. Sometimes you should read first. All right, I gotta fix this choke that I managed to screw up twice. I don't think we're getting spark. Probably one of these connections are dirty, the points. Maybe my old Morse key flick didn't work. Getting fuel, that's for sure. Oh, I couldn't get the choke cable back in. I screwed that. I said, yeah, she probably ain't getting spark. Otherwise, I think she would have fired. All right, um, where should we start? Should we start with cleaning connections? Well, let's see if we got juice to the coil. So, stay there for a second. I gotta get some extensions or something. Hold on, trying, key off. Will we see if we got juice to the coil through the ignition? So if I'm doing it right, we're just gonna connect to the negative on the back. We probably connect somewhere else on the frame, I guess. That would probably work just as good. I'm gonna connect to the negative battery terminal and I'm gonna put my test light on the positive on the coil pack. I'm gonna turn the key on and turn it over and see if it well, I don't have to turn it over. I just got to turn the key on. We just want to see if we got juice to it. Maybe. Give me a second. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Just got old beat up tools. Try not to. I don't know why I'm worried. I'm worried about touching spark and stuff out. Don't matter. You see that? So we got juice to the coil. We just, we're not getting no. How do you do that? You just test it like this, I believe. You go one side to the other side, right? I believe if you connect to the positive, negative, da da da, and the coil, and you turn this over, the test light, because it's not crazy light bulb or nothing, it should light up. No, we ain't. So, we probably got to pull apart, clean the points for real. Not bad inside the cap. The cap looks rather new. You think that thing's uh, opening and closing? Oh yeah, she's opening and closing, but I don't even see no spark. You guys, I miss old, like the old Craftsman. This one's about worn out, but remember back in the day, you'd buy Craftsman screwdrivers and they'd have the little grooves in them. Man, they used to work awesome for uh, cleaning your freaking two-stroke dirt bike uh, spark plug real quick and cleaning your points on stuff You know what I mean? You just it had the grooves at the end of it. So you just real nicely and I don't think this craftsman's got it in it anymore
I don't want to sand it too much. I don't see no spark. All right, I'll get a bigger piece of sandpaper. I'm gonna take these freaking things off and clean them while I'm at it. Clean the connections up. One less thing. What kind of projects you all got going on? Why don't you uh, put it down there in the comments, let me know. You got tractors you working on, four wheelers, dirt bikes. I don't really need another tractor, but we got a good deal on it. Then, remember to keep tuning in. You got another tractor video coming, if that's what you're into. If not, stay tuned. We got truck videos and stuff. We'll get back on the OBS uh, Duramax swap budget build. That one's pretty cool. That's a $5,000 budget build if you're not tuned in and you didn't watch the you know videos that are already out of it. We're uh, doing the whole thing. We're gonna Duramax swap it with an LB7 and a OBS GMT 400. And uh, we're gonna do it all for under 5K. We already got the motor. We got brand new injectors in it, brand new CP3 pump, tranny, harness, all that. We already bought the donor truck, ripped it apart. We sold a ton of parts, which in return made everything way cheap. Why are they different sizes? Why, would they, why wouldn't they just use the same size nut on everything? Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, we put a Duramax diesel and a K2500 OBS. It's uh, we got the motor mounts made, the training mounts made. I gotta get back on it. I gotta do the dash harness and all that good stuff. Uh, we gotta do a lot left to it, but we're at like $2,300 or something. And the whole thing, that's buying the motor, the tranny, the, the other truck. Uh, and if you don't believe me, just go watch those videos and it breaks it down a little better. Um, I'm going to find whatever size that is. I'll probably try seven wrenches before I get the right one. My eyes ain't so good anymore. So a redneck's not real smart. And you don't really know how to use this digital multimeter thing. And I know everybody says coils don't go bad. But uh, I, I cleaned everything out. The points, they look good, but I'm not getting no sparks, no nothing, no pretty lights down there, nothing. And I, I know this is a cheap hobo freight junky multimeter, but I don't know how to, I can't figure it out. So I got the test light out. Well, I can't figure that out either. So I'm gonna go find a coil pack and we're just gonna try it. And if that's not what it is, well, at least we can check it off the list. And well, if it is what it is, cool. Maybe we'll have spark. Stay with me. I'm back. I found a coil pack. I'm sweating out, you can see it. It's hot out there. It's deadly. Don't move to Florida, it's not smart. Well, you know, it's, the winter time's nice, and I mean the spring and the fall time. Well, the winter time's nice, so I'm gonna hook this up, and we're gonna we're gonna have spark. That's this was bad. I know it. You know it. We both know it. It probably wasn't bad, and we wasted our time. Look at this, it's like brand new. I bought a generator. It's a pretty cool generator. I bought it because I was gonna do a will it run on it, and it's a four cylinder flathead. I never owned a four cylinder flathead. Well, I cleaned it up with a wire wheel a little bit. Well, I went to working on it. It's propane. I I never worked on nothing propane. I know it's not much different than gas, but all I can think is matching the gas tank. Boom, boom. I don't want to blow myself up. Uh, so what? We'll, we'll hold on a minute. Pay attention to what you're doing. Otherwise, you're gonna hook stuff up backwards. Uh, the one that runs to your dizzy goes to the negative side. Remember that. This is gonna work? I freaking hope so. 
and the one that runs to your key switch or wherever's juicing it, preferably your key switch, you don't want full power to your coil pack, you'll burn them up. This one should only have power when the key's on, like I showed you earlier with the test light. Do you think he was having a spark issue with it? He said he was having a carb issue, but I want, it don't matter, that thing, that, we definitely need that. I'm gonna order one, but can you believe one to two months to get the freaking rebuild kit? Like, whatever. Okay. Let's uh, put this on. Woo! God, got all my fingers. I bumped the key too far. Woo! Jump too, like whoop, my right out of my chest. Right? Okay, hold on. Woo! We got something. It didn't look really good. Hold on, come down here, check this out. Oh. All right, let's see. Hold on, give me a second. All right, you guys go watch right there. See if you can see. Ready? I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold the camera. All right, ready? Watch close. Okay, I swear to you, we had spark. We don't have spark again. What's that mean? What the heck? Hold on. What are you doing? Here? Oh, I see it. Can you see it? I can see it. Hang in there. We're gonna freaking hook this back up and see what happens. Just hold on, okay? Gotta go right back up to your little redneck homemade stand. Can you see me still? We're just gonna we're just gonna pop this. Let's turn the key off before we burn something up. Got everything. Alright. Hope that goes down. It looks like it goes down about the same. It felt like it. All right, hold on. This is closed or open. It's down like where the adjuster is. It's probably. Let's just let's try that. Spark. Let's just pull a spark plug out. I don't have all that fancy sparkulator testers and stuff. We just got the old fashioned way. I see no smoke yet. She could be flooded right up. Who knows? Where's gonna be a good spot? You think it'll just, it needs to? Probably gonna <laughs> light something on fire here, ready? Oh, there's spark, we got spark. Can you see it? You can't see, I'm sorry guys. All right, watch. Ready? There's spark. Believe it or not, there is. I seem to. I got two eyes too. You know what's crazy? I think that might have actually been the first time ever it was actually a coil pack. Freaking insane. Juice that thing up. I'm just gonna bolt it down. I know it was freaking needed to be replaced. We might as well just take this one off and pop that one in here. Are you ready? We're gonna see if this thing will uh, do its thing. I'll try it a few times. If she don't, we'll see. We'll, she'll maybe fire it for us and I don't, I don't know, probably not. I hear something going for just a little bit, so maybe that guy's homemade up. Uh... Oh, I'm having a fart. Uh, accelerator pump is actually working. Uh, I don't know.
Gas up then. Check it out. Look at it all. Look, there's a nut. Dang it. The time we forget to put the exhaust cam and it shoots stuff out. Did you hear it run? She sounded good for a second. That was cool. All right, we're going to try it again. Hang in there. I'm going to check some stuff. Did you hear it run? I wasn't ready. I didn't think it was gonna start. I, the AC's still on, cooling the 100 degree outside. Door wasn't open. It's a little smoky in here. Smoke for a second. We should be able. Okay, we'll try to start. The coil's still on. Let's, let's try again. <laughs> Take it for a ride.
Okay, tell me that's not cool. The old girl's fired back up, she's running, and you gotta remember that the old man made that accelerator. She, you can hear, she, she's, it's not the best accelerator pump you can, but that old man made it out of a little scrap piece of leather. So, uh, hey dude, if you're watching at work, that was that's freaking awesome. I hope you guys are watching. Uh, oh, that's cool, that's cool. It's probably because we put the lady on. That's probably the only reason she runs good. Look at the lady. Oh, it's so sweet. Uh-oh, we're leaking. Oh, it's just overflow. Oh, it's not even hot. Okay, we're good. It's probably just got a little bit too much in it. That's cool. Sweet deal. Hey, would you look at that? We revived another one. We got another one out of the bush. Well, this one was in a carport, but still, we pulled another one out, put her back together, got her running. How can you beat that? I appreciate you guys all coming and watching. Uh, if you like the video, you know, if you don't mind, go hit that like button. I, I appreciate it. Uh, share it, you know, share it with your friends. Somebody else might like it too. And make sure you come back next week because who, who knows what we're going to get up to next week. I, I don't have a clue. Maybe another will it run. I don't know. We got a Jeep. That would be cool. We also got another tractor. So who knows? Hope to see you all next week. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe. Thank you. Love you all. Peace.